Next up, disturbing news from Baldwin County. The Fairhope High School band director facing child pornography charges. This is Anthony Wayne Fillingham arrested at his house yesterday afternoon. Fox 10 News Baldwin County reporter Hal Sherrick has been covering this story all day. He's got the latest details and whether the case involves any band members. Anthony Wayne Fillingham was arrested at his Daphne home on Ridgewood Drive yesterday afternoon. Sheriff's investigators say the case was originally developed by Aaliyah, and once state investigators had gathered enough information, they handed it over to the sheriff's office. The four charges currently against Fillingham are related to images of children less than 17, which were downloaded from the internet, according to investigators. These type of cases are, are very concerning to us just in general terms. Uh, you know, as a society, we have determined collectively that this is not going to be tolerated. Baldwin County Schools Superintendent Eddie Tyler releasing a brief statement today, only saying that Phil and Jim has been put on administrative leave and that they have been in contact with the Baldwin County Sheriff's Office. At this time, sheriff's investigators are going through hard drives and other digital devices they seized during a search of Phil and Jim's home to see if there's more obscene material. Typically in these cases, it's, it's, it's just random internet images um, that are out there. And again, that was the information that we received initially, that he was downloading that information from, from the internet. According to Baldwin County Schools, Wayne Fillingham has been an employee since 2006 and the band director at Fairhope High School since 2014. Sheriff's investigators say at this time they have no reason to believe any of the material recovered from Fillingham's home is connected to his students. Wayne Fillingham was released from the Baldwin County Jail last night on $60,000 bond for those four felony counts. I went by his home today to offer him a chance to respond to these allegations. I was told by another person at the house that he was not home. I have not heard back from him yet. Now, we'll, of course, keep you updated as this investigation continues. Reporting live from Baldwin County, Hal Sherrick, Fox 10 News.